Well, March 1st marks the beginning of snake season, but warmer weather brought them out early this year. Yeah, CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is in Sacramento with details on a class designed to educate people and also protect the wildlife. So this is a species that's often confused as a rattlesnake. This is Michael Starkey. But uh, really soon, snakes are going to be moving. Wildlife biologist has made a career studying snakes, especially venomous ones. Um, so she is a little honorary, so just be prepared that she may strike. That's why he's teaming up with the Rattlesnake Conservancy to offer classes through his organization, Save the Snakes. What we're doing is we're trying to um, mitigate human snake conflict. In its first year of classes, 1,300 students nationwide have learned how to preserve snakes while protecting themselves. There's a lot of bad information out there. This court sets the record straight. Many who attend are first responders, wildlife biologists, and rescuers. There are even some homeowners. A big part of the course is identification, right? So learning about you know, what is a rattlesnake? How do rattlesnakes use their environment? Because that's the main focus is rattlesnakes. That's what we have around here. But also venom toxinology. The first day is coursework. The second is snake handling. It's really important when we're working with these snakes, uh, we never use our hands. So we're always using tools. The goal is to educate people about the importance of snakes in our ecosystem. And they're an excellent uh, form of pest control. They can go places that you know, cats and barn owls and, you know, hawks can't go. Um, their snakes are a farmer's best friend. He says killing them is not a sustainable form of pest control. When there's one, there's going to be another. And so it's best that they prepare their home, prepare their family, make sure that everyone is safe.